As this nest video shows, it all started a little more than a year ago when she let the dogs out at 10 a.m. By 10.10, when they came back, she said she was on the floor. They were licking her face and woke her up after a sudden stroke. By 10.45, you see her son Garen arrive, and by 11.10, you see the fire department arriving, helping to save Lori Bell's life. I collapsed that day. Um, I was in the hospital within an hour of collapsing, and I uh, was able to get TPA, which was called TPA back then. It's now Act Place. Lori is an emergency room nurse at Kentucky St. Elizabeth Hospital. After being transported immediately to their emergency room, she was given what's called TPA, or tissue plasminogen activator. It can stop the aftermath of a stroke. Shortly after that, Lori was air cared to Ohio's UC Health for what's called a thrombectomy. That's where they go in through the groin, they go up, and in my case, they went in after the blood clot and sprayed it with more TPA. Um, and cleared the clot. I was quick enough to get in there that they were able to do that, but if not, they would have gone in and grabbed the blood clot and pulled it out. Lori is now fully recovered and is an advocate for a campaign called Strike Out Stroke. It promotes stroke awareness at Major League Baseball games. The message Lori now shares with other stroke survivors and nurses, be fast. Balance difficulties, eyesight changes, face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call 911. That strikeout stroke game has the Reds hosting the Red Sox on Friday, June 21st. First pitch is at 710 at Great American Ballpark. And we do have a ticket link and a link to those stroke early warning signs of be fast inside the digital version of this story at what's happening in health.com. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.